Hello once again and welcome to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and along with the lovely Tiptastic and Isaac Wan Kenobi. And we are so glad that you tuned in, right? Yes. Are we glad? Yeah. We're, we're pretty so glad. glad. Because you guys are pretty cool. You guys hang out at our channel, and so we thank you for that. And if this is your first time to the channel, guess what? You're cool now. You're cool You're now. You're part of the cool group. You're part of the cool group. Because what is the Poindexter Lounge? A place, place for, for nerds. nerds. That's right. So nerds are cool. We're in fashion Speak now. nerdy to me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so um, anyway, so right now we're going to talk about something. And Tiffany doesn't even really know about this. Isaac knows about this. Mm -hmm. But um, so there's this guy. His name's James Gunn. And uh, he got into some hot water this summer over some things that he did about eight to ten years ago. Uh, he's I little, vaguely he's, remember that. Yeah, he's a guy who uh, wrote and directed the first two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I do remember that. Yes, and uh, so he was hard at work on Ga Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Disney fired him. Disney fired, just upped and fired him and said, you're done, right? And so this is breaking news that came out just a little while ago, and uh, I had to wait until I got home because I wanted us all to talk about this a little bit. Um, and that is... It's a gun panel. <laughs> it's a gun panel. There were rumors that he may be uh, working on a Flash movie. Right? Besides Ezra Miller? Well, with Ezra Miller. Huh. With Ezra Miller. That was the, that was the, the rumor, is yeah. that uh, DC and Warner Brothers wanted to bring him to, into the fold, put him to work, and, and his brand of humor would have worked yeah. for the Flash. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, with how Ezra Miller is in Justice League. Yeah, yeah, it would have definitely worked. Uh, and there's a lot of people who's been courting James Gunn. Of course, Batista has gone on record as, you know, I mean, he's just, he just wants to support James Gunn no matter what it does to his career, apparently. But, so we're not going to get into the controversy here today because everybody's got a different point of view. Uh, my point of view has kind of gone back and forth on it a little bit. Um, and I really don't know what to think about all that stuff anymore. This is what I want to talk about. It's been re reported today that it looks like James Gunn is going to write and direct our next Suicide Squad movie. What? Yeah. So, and that's not just rumor. That's like, it's... Law? Well, it's... No, <laughs> it's not law, but it's it's definitely been reported uh, in a legitimate hmm. uh, way that it looks like he's going to be writing and directing Suicide Squad 2. Now... Suicide Squad 2 has already been in development. It's already been in development. Um, and uh, the, th the thing is, is Suicide Squad's director is now on to doing Birds of Prey. So he was not going to do uh, uh, Suicide Squad 2. They had another director up, uh, and basically the script was done. They just, they just talked about how the treatment for the, for the first script was done. Mm -hmm. But if they hire James Gunn, uh, you can bet that that's probably not going to be it because James Gunn's the type of guy who writes his own stuff and directs it. So let's jump right into this. Tiff, what do you think about James Gunn, writer and director of Suicide or of uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, directing and writing a Suicide Squad movie? Oh, if people are willing to look past everything, that's that's completely up to them. But um. I like the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, so I know that he does a great job. I just hope that he can... I honestly don't know, because I, I, that's the only movies that I really know that he's done. I really enjoyed them. I enjoyed the storytelling that he gave. Um, yeah. If he can pick up where Suicide Squad left off, give us some more answers, kind of get into the story a little more, I would be very excited to see what he can do. Um, but I, I honestly, like I said, I'm not... Eh. Yeah? Yeah. Huh? I'm not like, yay, or like upset, or I'm just in the middle yeah all right isaac what do you think about that um i know you could definitely do like the group type movies with more than one character or like main that's character good, that's a good point yeah i lead. just hope he doesn't really like change like the theme or like mood of the movie because yeah. you know how suicide squad was compared to guardians of the galaxy yeah 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 so you like a more serious suicide squad than... over like a more funny like guardians of the galaxy yeah i mean now suicide squad it had, had, its had, humor. had its humor yeah right but not like guardians of the galaxy yeah like Guardian. they're all joking with each other. All, Mary Poppins, y'all. Most time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Guardians definitely has a lighter tone than Suicide Squad did. Yeah. Right? And it should. Yeah. It, it really should. Guardians uh, of the Galaxy are heroes, and then Suicide Squad is villains that are forced to do certain things. 
That's true. That's true. That's what they so do. that's what they do. So my feeling on this is this. Um, I'm with you, Tiff. If people can get over it, I, you know, I hope that it. I don't think. It, I really don't think it's going to hurt. Yeah. In any way, DC or 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 uh, Warner Brothers to to hire him on to to do this movie. So um, I think that he's got a lot of support right now in Hollywood, which and, helps him. Which helps him, and I think it also helps Warner Brothers and DC with mm -hmm. this. I think that. Uh, there's a lot of people who will definitely be interested yeah. in a Suicide Squad movie now, maybe who were not before. Yeah. If they if they True. know that James Gunn is writing and directing it, they may have signed off on it before and said, nah, I don't care about Suicide Squad because there's but a lot of people who didn't like it. Personally, I loved it. Yeah. I loved I loved everything about it except for the end and uh, Enchantress doing her little, <laughs> her little that that little thing. Um, what was that? I was like, <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I think that if they, if they do get him to do this, and this is official, that it'll help. Yeah. I think it'll bring a lot of people back that weren't going to come back. And, uh, and I think also it could be another notch for DC yeah. in a positive way as far as their movies go. As long as yeah. he can do it justice. Mm, or injustice given pretty the much yes um yeah so i so i think that's good i definitely think that like you said he can write and direct a group movie. a group movie yeah. with multiple people with multiple stories going on and things like that so that's a good thing um that's definitely something good that he's got going for him it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with yeah, yeah. you know what will the story be will we will we see the joker return yeah mm -hmm. You know, um, obviously Harley's now in Birds of Prey. Well, he broke her out of jail at the end, so it's one of those things like, are they going to continue on that storyline? Are they going to, who else ahead. are they going to show? Yeah, exactly. Well, what would you say? Or like, they may do like a time jump, like time jump ahead. Yeah. Like a few months, few years after the first one. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where they go with this one. And if James Gunn does it, uh, I think, I think that as a filmmaker and as a writer, it's in really good hands. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, I mean, we got Aquaman coming out. We got Wonder Woman coming out. We got Shazam coming out. Yep. Uh, Birds of Prey seems to be in good hands. So if DC can string a few of these together that are good movies, you know, if all of these Might turn out fun. to be good movies and they start building up on there, I still say give us a Man of Steel 2 mm -hmm. yes. with Henry Cavill. Henry but, Cavill is our Superman hashtag. Yeah, but, you know, build up to it, you know, so... Um, so that's our thoughts. All right. Anything else that you guys want to share? No. Anything else you guys thinking? We just had to uh, take a moment and share that with you guys. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. If this is your first time to the lounge, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Be a superhero. Give it a super punch. All right. And uh, let us know that you're here. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And then also, of course, share the video with others. Follow us on uh, social media. All that stuff is down in the description below. Until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, and with me as always is the lovely... Tiftastic. And of course... Isaac Juan Kenobi. And, uh... I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> hey! It's a good time to be a DC fan, right? So, go out and watch a DC movie. I don't know. Hold on, let me do that again. Hug a DC movie today? Let me, let me do that again. So as always, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett with the lovely... Tiptastic. And of course... Isaac Juan Kenobi. And we want you to support a DC movie today. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.